I'm from the Philippines. And I'm in the Philippines. And it's together. <laughs> together we're Fields to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries, one, one heart. heart. Welcome to our Chica Chica. And we are here in... Cologne District. Yep, and this one is a Palmgrass Heritage Hotel with our guest here, my papa and my mama. <laughs> wave, wave, wave. We're having a video. Staying at the Palmgrass Hotel. Yep, it's a really cool hotel with like history in Cebu, basically Cebu. Yeah, pretty much entirely Cebu. Yep, and it's amazing. Cool, so we'll walk you down to Cologne area. Yeah, we're going to the 7-Eleven nearby. Oh, oh, so it's Sunday here, here and it's 7 o'clock in the morning. And the streets are actually pretty empty. For now, <laughs> it's still in the morning and there's some chipneys. That's the chipneys. We're using that new wireless go mic. Yep. And so I'm not terribly sure how well the audio is going to come out on everything. Uh oh. But we actually got the mic mainly for this trip. Yep. To try and do a little bit better audio. Do you want to cross the street now? Yeah, I mean, it'd be better. We're going to 7 Eleven. <laughs> Before we were run like a frog. Something like that. Yeah, crossing the street in the Philippines can be a live action frogger game. It's a challenge. <laughs> oh cool. What's back in there? What? I never even noticed that. Where? But they got stuff back there. I never know too. I never know. We've been here three days and this is our second time. I did, oh there's like, yeah, I didn't notice that too. But in here in the Philippines, it, you'll have back alleys that have all kinds of stuff in them. Yep, that's true. And like, there's a big street and then you go inside and like there's houses. <laughs> this is one of the oldest hotel here, Cebu Business Hotel. Yeah, I actually looked online. It looked like it was an older hotel. Yep. That was part of the reason why I didn't book. Yep, you know the old hotel here in the Philippines. <laughs> I'll just have that back in my mind. Remember that? <laughs> we went to Manila. Yeah, we didn't have so much luck with an old hotel. Yep. I guess in its heyday, it was a really nice hotel. Well, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Jollibee is there at 138 Mall. 7 Eleven. Yeah. The, that is a huge mall that has nothing it's but like, knockoffs and. It's like Chinese. Yeah, it's got a lot of cheap Chinese stuff in it. Yep. But it's affordable to Filipinos and it does a job. Yep. We have Jeepneys again. And it's like Cologne and Honkera. If people some know about the history of Yankara, there's a good and bad history of it. They've got the Super Metro. Right next, right across the street to 138. And then they've got the Colonnade Mall. Yep. Right next to the 138 on the same side of the street. I can see you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, the guy. Money. Mama is giving coins. Salama. Okay. That's the University of Visayas that's Dudong graduated. That? Huh? What's that? That green building? That's a school. Oh, the one right next door to the 7-Eleven? Yep. Okay. But 
bit. Hi. <laughs> you can the share. The traffic here, because it, it's so different than anything that we've ever seen or I've ever seen, especially when the traffic is busy. I could sit here for hours and watch it. Yeah, and there's like a police. Utterly fascinating to me. Police truck. So what's he doing? Like parking enforcement or? Just oh. checking. There are police here. They're just not quite as in your face as they are back in the face. Those jeepies are sticking cool. I was hoping to buy one of those styles. Yeah, I, it's like more of like the newer version. It's like multical, you know? But we're in 7-Eleven and we'll give you more updates. We'll definitely get more updates as we go. We're trying to keep this one really short because I'd like to get it uploaded while we're still here in Cologne. Yep. That uh, Palm Grass Hotel has okay internet, which can be kind of sketchy here in the, in the Philippines. Yep. But we're here and we're actually going back to Sabunga in about two hours. Yep. And there's going to be a Motor. dirt bike race, motocross. Yes. And I would really love to try and get, I'm just watching to see if one of the is going to come by. Yeah. That I really want to get some good video of. I think I, I, think I see one of those. What? The old one? Oh, which oh one? there go. I thought they are like catching an old guy, a bad guy. Oh, well. Oh, well. But see ya. Mabuhai. Mabuhai. <laughs> there is one of the older original jeepneys. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are the newer versions. It's like look like mold, multi right? Like look at them. Yeah, these are what they're evolving into because they're running out of the old Jeep style. that the name Jeepney actually comes from the old military Jeep that during World War II when they were still planning the ground invasion of Japan the Philippines because of Subic Bay Subic Bay was historically one of the largest naval bases outside the US and with Clark F uh, Airfield over there, that it was still an army de depot at that point, yep. that they started shipping over thousands upon thousands of Jeeps planning on doing the land invasion of Japan. After World War II ended, they just had way too many extra Jeeps and they sold them off for pennies on the dollar and literally gave away a bunch of them in Filipino ingenuity yep. we'll recycle and use it. that they ate them up and used them and over time they extended the frame so they could start taking more and more people and it morphed into what we now know as a jeepney yep. but they're actually way cool and I still like them but they are Filipino sized I know look at those like it's so pretty like And they're all decked out to match the, there's another one, to match the personality of the owner of it. Yep, and look at the other one, it's like an ambulance. <laughs> yeah, it's an old Mitsubishi. Yes, it depends on the owner. It looks like a minivan. Yeah. It looks like one of the old minivans has been converted into a jeepney. They just like wave. And again, this this is part of what I love about the Philippines is they just smile when they say a video. They're just like hello. You've been with me in the US yep. doing some of these videos. And you'll have people, oh shut that off, you can't do that. I don't I don't want to hear people smile, wave, that they'll they'll pose for the camera. Yep. <laughs> there's a couple there's a couple of uh really tricked out once jeepies coming down uh, scooters so many yeah they, they, 
every size, shape, and style of scooter and bike that you can see. And like rugged multi-caps. There's a whole pack of the multi-caps coming. I'm hoping that I can catch That's the one I'm looking for. There we go. Of course, there was one passing it. And another one that's pretty well decked out. But some of these guys, they can go over the top by getting their jeepneys all decked out. And they actually even have competitions on them. And another one. And they do a little fixed route. That one does Pardo, Cologne, and SM. Yep. So that's Which their, SM would they do? The old one. Which would be how far from here? Four, four or five kilometers, two miles. Now, how much is it to ride a jeepney? Nine pesos. Come on, nine. Papa. How much is the jeepney today? Buy a uh, for jeepney. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, I'm more Americanized because I say nine. <laughs> eight pesos is. Oh, for senior. Okay, I'm correct. Nine pesos. Seven. Oh, oh seven? seven. Oh, seven. So, okay. Seven pesos. For for senior. Well, four years ago it's eight pesos. I thought because four years ago it should be nine pesos. Because <laughs> before when I came here it's like seven or not eight pesos. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> there we go. There's another one. Ogella Cologne SM NBT. What's NBT from? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense. We we're going. Another one. That's right. really cool and funny to see the streets. <laughs> we extended this way too long, but Mom, my boo hi.